This episode of DNews is brought to you by the all-new 2014 Toyota Highlander. I know that you might not think of frogs as singers and dancers and heroes, but these little guys are extremely important to the biosphere of our planet. Hey ho, Trace here for DNews. It's not easy being a frog. Many people stop thinking about frogs altogether once they, you know, stop hunting them down by the creek or whatever. Except Kermit. That guy's great. You're gonna keep thinking about him. Frogs are more than just dancing, singing, swashbuckling, crime capering movie stars. These amphibians evolved 20 million years ago and diversified into 6,000 species ranging over the entire planet. The wood frog lives north of the Arctic Circle and can survive with 65% of its body completely frozen, while the Australian water holding frog can wait seven years between rainfalls. These little guys can be green or gray or red or blue or yellow or purple or orange or solid or striped or spotted or whatever. Usually these bright colors indicate to possible predators that the frog is poison. But some, like the Fort Randolph robber frog, evolved similar coloring to gain those evolutionary advantages without involving toxins. The Goliath frog is the largest in the world, measuring 12 and a half inches long and weighing 7.2 pounds. That thing's gigantic. They start from the same size tadpole though, they just keep growing. On the flip side, the smallest frog in the world also set the record for the smallest vertebrate on the planet. It's less than a third of an inch long. From the looks of it, you could fit a few on the face of a dime without even crowding them in. With all of this variation, there's bound to be a weirdo amongst the amphibian pack, like the marsupial frog, for example. Most amphibians lay jelly-coated eggs in the water, but the marsupial frogs are the exception to that rule. One of these strange frogs was discovered in the Peruvian Amazon in 1972, but it took decades to prove that it was a whole species. Another marsupial frog was found in 1989, and then finally a study was published in the journal Phylomedusa last year. This frog doesn't have a pouch like a kangaroo, really. Instead, the female carries the baby frogs on its back in these weird lumps until the eggs hatch. They never get to be in the free swimming tadpole stage at all. Some hang on the mama's back even after hatching. But that's not even the weirdest one. The strangest, other than, you know, Muppet ones, are the gastric brooding frog. This little gal lays the eggs and once they're fertilized, she swallows them only to birth her little frog babies back up out of her mouth. It's real gross. The gastric brooding frog of Australia fell into extinction in the 1980s, possibly due to pollution, habitat loss, or disease, or maybe some combination of all three, but last year it was de-extincted using somatic cell nuclear transplantation, kind of like cloning. So now we have these horrors again. Yay. Speaking of horrors, there's also the horror frog. It's got retractable wolverine-like claws and this weird fur stuff that sucks in oxygen. What is your favorite kind of frog? Do you like any of these weirdos? I'm sticking with Kermit. Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe here for more science news every day of the week.